Uh, let's take you through some of the games this weekend, shall we? Christmas weekend, uh, lots of playoff implications on the cards here. Um, we do know that COVID has impacted quite a few games, lots of players and staff unavailable at the moment, right up until kickoff as well. Uh, we're going to start and pick out um, the Christmas Day game between Cleveland and the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay in great nick. Cleveland go there, though. We know they've had a real struggle with COVID, but this is important for them. Seven and seven at the moment. The season's on the line, isn't it, Jay bell It's on the line, and the only way they can win this game, which I think they are not going to, <laughs> is special teams. Because Green Bay's special teams is struggling. But Cleveland, Miles Garrett, mm. little banged up. He's important. Got to go at Green Bay. And that division is, is still wide open, isn't it? It's, it's fascinating to watch coming to the end of the, the, the season. Terrible situation for Cleveland to be in. This is a must-win game for them, and they're playing the best team in the NFL. I don't see... I mean, imagine, imagine being in that scenario. <laughs> Green Bay should take this game. Well, whatever happens uh, with that Cleveland result, that directly impacts on the next game we look at, which is Baltimore and Cincinnati. Now, the Bengals lead the division. The Ravens have lost their last three games. We talked a bit about that. And they're in danger of missing out on the playoffs despite having a great season, Jace. This is why this is such a hard game to call because Baltimore is desperate. But I believe in that Burrow magic mm. and Joe Mixon in Cincinnati, so I got to roll with them. How are you feeling about the Bengals? I know you've had, you've had a bit of beef throughout the season, haven't you? I've had beef with their fans. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had beef with But I do like the Cincinnati Bengals to win this game. Baltimore, too many injuries. Cincinnati, too desperate of a, of a football team. I believe they get this win. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts, are, they're one of the form teams, aren't they? But they're taking on Arizona, who've been really interesting to watch of late. A little bit of a slip-up, but still in good shape. Yeah, but Jonathan Taylor and this Indianapolis Colts offense... Are JT? Going... JT, baby! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Justin Timberlake? No? Oh, yeah, Jonathan Taylor. He, man, he's so physical, this running game. I think they can push Arizona's front seven around. They should dominate. I don't like I don't like Indianapolis in this game. I like the Arizona Cardinals, man. They have been in a little bit of a slip. Indianapolis going into Arizona. True. I think the Cardinals are going to win this game. If this game was in Indianapolis, <laughs> so I you just changed your mind by saying that. I'm playing it even today. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's watching, Dan. <laughs> they are. They're on the eye player. Oh yeah, eye player. Last one to look at. A huge battle in the AFC East. Top right of the screen there. Whoever wins this one will lead the division with two games to go. It's Buffalo and New England, OC. Yeah. Shout out to FA Obata. They're going to lose this game. <laughs> <laughs> New England. They don't lose two games in a row. They're going to find a way to bounce back. Buffalo coming off a win. New England coming off a loss. New England wins. Balance it up for us, Jay. Balance it up for us. Yeah, I'm going with New England, but they need to start fast. They've been slow in the first quarter. Buffalo needs to get up early if they have a chance.